Peace, peace, y'all. Welcome to today's mathematics with your girl, Sunshine Monet L. Today is 10 21 8. We have made it to the third decan of the month. This is the decan of creation, expression, emotions, and uh, understanding. We're in that Saturn energy, and it's fun here. So, we're on the day of two and one, finding wisdom in our knowledge, which is going to bring us closer to understanding. So, two is dealing with the Taurus house, Taurus rules over the second house. That is to deal with your priorities, your, your self esteem, self value value the things that you value to the levels that you value them to what do you do to obtain and maintain these things that you value how will you allow them to reflect upon your self-worth or self-esteem or are you allowing what's inside to be reflected on the outside says libra who also rules over the two my yacht is in alignment with libra as that's what the justice scales are spell, uh, based upon so more twos on the twos on the two two twos and um we're also dealing with bonds and contracts and interpersonal relationships here as well. One is the Keters, that's Aquarian energy, being original, being unique, awareness of the power of one with all. We love it here. So aligning that Keters with the uh, wisdom and bringing us to a sense of understanding that being a Saturn energy. So it's like challenges are inevitable, right? Because once you have the knowledge, then you start access, uh, then you start, um, you know, exercising it and it brings us to a space of discernment when I use this utilize this knowledge in these spaces this happens when i utilize this knowledge in these spaces that happens and so getting this this and that those are the understandings that we come under so those are the the resistance the resilience the equal opposite energy all of that that is what brings us to that triangle of creation ashe so you know if you're dealing with challenges and the things that you're looking to create and manifest it's all a part of the game that's how you get the muscles that you need that's how you get the testimony you deserve to to be able to be in these spaces in these rooms and keep moving forward Ashe. So we're going to take that three now that we have the full blown thing about the threes. Threes also rule over your emotional sense. Threes is the Gemini house. This is community and conversation, learning how to be balanced and stable here while being adaptable and flexible at the same time is key. So taking that three and putting it into the month of one. This is the month of Keters, knowledge in our cipher. This is the month of intellect. You know, we're in the swords, we're in the Maya energy, um, we're in that cardinal vibe of one there's you know one in numerology is the leadership initiator all that fun stuff so we're going to take the three of understanding put it into that one it's going to bring us the four which is foundation four also deals with cancer energy now we get into the womb and everybody comes from a womb so that is why four is associated with foundation four is also the square and everything is you know usually built upon the square you're right um the cornerstone of things so now we have that four which is also the energy of dependable and reliable we're going to put that into the year of eight this is the year of transformation this is the year of building and destroying death and rebirth empowerment pendulum swinging enforcement we're in the oya energy oya rules over the elders the marketplace and the witches um eight also deals with hot or splendor and the sephirot this is mercurian energy the celestial technicians now we're coming into sebek right and um how we label and separate things and stuff like that is in alignment with my yacht because 20242 two, we already talked about is the my yacht four is also chess it which is my yacht and the sephiroth um all adds up to that eight that we're sitting in at this moment so that's what the celestial technicians is labeling things based upon how close to or how far away are things in alignment with my yacht so that's why you see a lot of the things that you see going on in our space right now um as far as finding balance law justice and truth okay so we'll take that for a foundation and put it there into this year eight this year of conception what we're conceiving this year is what we'll give birth to next year so if you've been conceiving you've been diligent and consistent in these mathematics on what you're conceiving and what you give birth to going to come to you next year but remember high highs make low lows the goal is to be the homeostasis in the middle because some of y'all y'all want these big things but are you willing to go through the testimony required to have these big things that's the real question some of y'all y'all don't even realize the price tag on some of the things y'all asking for so i would say be the homeostasis but you know do what you gotta do do what you're willing to do Ashe. So we come into one and two again. So now before we were in wisdom and knowledge, now we're in knowledge and wisdom. So now we get to flip around like, okay, maybe you was walking around with discernment first to bring you to the knowledge. But now you need the knowledge first to bring you to that discernment. All in all, today is a day of three. Today is a day of understanding, expression, and emotions on the third decade of the month. This energy of ISIS, which is all about learning and being humorous. Now let's talk about what's astrologically, astronomically happening. We start the day off with a wanting gibbous moon. At 83%, we're still in that space of cleansing. We're cleansing the tangible things out of our space. So keep cleaning up. Moon rising at 9.07 p.m. And setting at 12.29 p.m. We are in the ninth house with it. So 
um, the ninth house goes towards like the oracle and the sage wisdom. Um, it goes to the sacral chakra. It goes to being optimistic and generous. That's that Obatala energy, um, Jupiter energy, Sagittarius vibes. We out here finding joy and expansion. Um, tropically in our thought process, we're in Gemini. Gemini so this joy and the sacral chakra is going towards our community, our communication, our ability to be uh, stable and still flexible and adaptable to different people, places, things, and situations. Um, and our energy exchanges, we're in Taurus, sidereal and constellation wise. So that Taurus energy is bringing us that sense of priorities and value and self value, self esteem, uh, wealth, as well as um, your heart chakra vibes. Now, draconic, our spiritual energy is in that Gemini. So, you know, allowing our thought process is also in alignment with our spiritual self of being adaptable and flexible as well as stable at the same time. Sunrise at 7, 16 a.m. Sunset will be at 6, 10 p.m. The moon and Jupiter at minimal angle today, um, sitting in that Taurus constellation. The, that happened this morning at 12, 34 a.m. The moon was 5.4 degrees north-northwest, conjunction at 3, 57 a.m. The moon was 5.6 degrees north, so we had our third eye next to our sacral chakra, so having um, enlightening dreams or uh, if you guys were still awake like me, you know, moments where, you know, you're really thinking about, um, first of all, getting really good downloads because having your third eye next to Jupiter and Jupiter rules over that expanded mindset is really dope. Um, so definitely having downloads from, you know, spirits, loved ones, masters, and teachers is a big thing. Tapping into your, your Akashic records is a big thing there too. Um, you know, what brings you joy? What brings out your creative energy? You know, for my artists out there, that was a good hour to get some creativity going. Still so, because Moon is still over there in uh, Taurus around Jupiter energy. The A in visibility of Virgo began, so it may be rising up with a thought on your mind of organization, time management, self-management, paying attention to your health is key here. The Orin is reaching Mac activity. Um, they move at 25 an hour. For my sky watchers out there, you might be able to catch um, a meteor shower from the or Orion constellation. Ceres now Balda are in conjunction today at 1.24 p.m. Ceres is 8.8 .8 degrees south. Ceres is the asteroid. Um, the agricultural asteroid, which you need to feel nurtured and which how you nurture. And then Pluto is at its best visibility of the year. The max north declination of the moon during current lunar cycle happens at 8.43 p.m. So the moon is going to be really, really close. <laughs> and then Mars entered the Cancer, excuse me, entered the Cancer constellation today at 1.45 a.m. So more happenings uh, with our solar plexus chakra going towards maternal energy, home and family, nurturing, intuition, following your gut feeling will definitely lead you towards more towards your spiritual self and honoring your intuition and also nurturing yourself and others is key here. Um, cooling down your your uh, solar plexus chakra, you know, being more nurturing with how you enforce certain things in your space, how you enforce boundaries is also a thing here as well. And um, it's fun there. So that's what I got for you today, Cosmic Nobodies. Reach out if you would like an astrological, numerological reading, aligning your your star charts to your uh, sephiros or your chakras. And yeah, peace, peace.